Please, you may be seated. We'll hear from our sister Malu Ibalio from some uh, mission moments. You are used to seeing Kuyaroli, but <laughs> on behalf of Kuyaroli, I'll be sharing some mission opportunities today. Pastor Sam mentioned about worship, and he also quoted the verse that Jesus mentioned. If you caught him earlier, after talking with Zacchaeus, Jesus said, Salvation has come to this household because he is also a son of Abraham. I came that, to seek and to save that which was lost. And he mentioned about the heart. God looks at the heart when we worship. And in missions, the same is true. What is the heart of worship? And what is the heart of mission? ICF, why do we do missions? Let me go home. <laughs> why do we do missions? I just said the answer. <laughs> Jesus said, I came to seek and to save that which was lost. So the heart of mission is man is lost without Christ. So the motivation for missions is anyone who doesn't have Christ in his life is lost. And if you have that conviction in your heart, you will never say no to mission. You'll always say yes to mission. And in line with that, there are opportunities for mission. Queeroli shared last month that there is a church that was damaged by the famous typhoon in the Philippines, Typhoon Haiyan, and they were needing money to be rebuilt. And through the generosity of a family who has a heart for mission, that need has been met. Let's honor God and thank God for the response of the De Los Reyes family. Thank you for your generosity. And that church, let me give you a background of this. The members of this church composed of Warais. It's a tribe in the Philippines. And until now, they are still renting a camp chapel. They needed 1,180 to build a chapel. And because of that, you can look at these pictures later. They have already some structures standing and so the building is being built and while they are building the church they are continually reaching out to young people so that there's a new need for this church they are praying it's ready for this april the event is for their first yolanda survivors evangelistic youth camp isn't that interesting they're building and they are reaching out they need an additional of 320 dollars to cover for the meals of the camp attendees from tacloban Leyte, and other neighboring towns so that's a need that we can respond to another need is this coming june 6 to 10 in, at the Development Academy of the Philippines in Tagaytay City, Cavite, Philippines, about the, what's the goal of this? Nurses from 33 countries will be gathering to enlarge their vision to be more effective representative of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is called the National a Nurses Christian Fellowship International 2016 World Congress which will be hosted by the NCF Philippines. Rolly Malincon is in charge. I, I, when I think of Kuya Rolly, dollar sign, <laughs> is in, commissioned to help raise the money for this Congress. And so far, he is doing good. And we are not only sending money, we are also sending people. We pray for Luis Marasigan, who will be graduating this June or May, and she will be representing our youth in this Congress. And 
Some nurses also like Ate Elisa, Mina, Olet, will be attending this Congress. So pray that they will enlarge their vision as they meet with other nurses from different countries of the world. A quick question is, why Philippines? Why do we keep sending the mission team to the Philippines? Any answer? <laughs> Give because I was part of the first mission that was initiated by this church in the year 2001. And it's now 2016. 16, 15 years. And I will continue to keep on going. Because we not only inspire the ter churches that we work with, it also transforms us. When we go, when we see the need, we see the Lord will reinforce in our hearts that indeed many people are lost without Christ. And why Philippines? If you go to the Philippines, it is indeed true that it's the only Christian nation in this world part of Asia. And in the Philippines, you will see a mega church. In the last mission trip that we went to, I had the privilege of worshiping in a church with a congregation of 40,000. They have eight services from morning till night. And I also have a privilege of worshiping in a church that is one-fourth of this church. So the Lord is both the Lord, Lord of the rich and the world of the poor. And you can only see this in the Philippines. Amen. Thank you, Sister Malu. We'd like you to get out of this place, energized, inspired, and rejoicing. So for our last hymn, we will be singing number 15, Rejoice, ye pure in heart. All